Hello fellow YouTubers. Ooh, I'm still out of breath. I had a, another extreme breakfast episode this afternoon, uh, Wednesday, uh, January 3. I, I had a coffee fit this afternoon and uh, I just became more breathless and breathless. I had to shout out to my wife to uh, call the ambulance. I had to force me to shout out quite a few times and very loud with what little breath I had because the house was closed up the, of course we've got the uh, ducted air conditioning going 24-7 but uh, the ambulance came in about five minutes and the paramedic uh, put me on an oxygen uh, mixture with uh, some sort of inhalant as well and uh, settled me down a little bit so after about, about 10 minutes, I was uh, taken to the ambulance that was waiting at the front. In fact, there were two ambulances. I did manage, <laughs> I did manage to grab my GoPro camera <laughs> and uh, record a little bit of what happened. But when I got out the front with the camera going, my wife uh, was none too impressed that I was recording. Uh, the unfortunate event and so I turned it off and they uh, became the cure so I was taken to the hospital so I've been doing the YouTube Purr. stuff for Purr. Purr. Here a bit late, so I missed your name at the start there. I was in hospital for about uh, three or four hours, had the usual tests and so on and so on. But uh, everything's always the same. Uh, it's, um, then it, there's always not only the, you know, the, the after effect of the episode, it makes you uh, breathless sometime after. Um, there's also all the little patches they put on you to hook up all the uh, instruments or the, whatever they might be. You can see here, uh, you see uh, I had a patch and it's just, uh, just bruises, bruises. I bruise so easily, especially on the, the arms, forearms, and there's a, there is it. Uh, there is another one here, it's something like this one here. And there's another one on my other arm as well, my left arm, but there's none on my chest. And there's, uh, there's none on my, uh, and there's on my legs. And it's always just on the arms and forearms. Whew, I just don't know what the hell for. Is that my doctor doesn't know either? Just said it's because of old age, bruising, but I think it's got to be something more than that. Um, I did find out that my uh, oxygen blood level uh, during the height of the uh, episode was at uh, 88. To, which is okay, but uh, once I got to the hospital, it was a uh, hundred. So there's nothing wrong with my blood oxygen level uh, most of the time. So I'm wasting my time going to the specialist. In fact, I'm going to cancel it. I'm going to cancel the appointment. I'm going to have to really take it up with my doctor and see what's going on. And the reason I'm canceling it is because with my blood oxygen level uh, normal, I haven't got a snowball chance in hell in hell are being recommended for home oxygen. So, sorry, I I got the TV going here with the big bash cricket on. I was just checking the score. And I'm sorry about the bad lighting, but I still haven't replaced my otherwise uh, the video light, um, which spat the dummy a, a week or two ago. I just haven't found anything that I like yet. But my wife and I are going out tomorrow so um, I'll have another look around. Today was uh, 
Well, it was a hot day and very humid. And uh, I, I mentioned this before that both of them always blows up with the uh, during that sort of weather. I, I'm much better during the cooler, cold weather, which is uh, which is why the house partly part reason that the house is uh, we've got the ducted air conditioning going 24/7. It also keeps the house nice and cool, and uh, it's much cooler at night and go to bed. Still doesn't stop me waking up uh, breakfast in the morning, but uh, at least I sleep better. I always sleep better when it's uh, cool to cold. Now there is no doubt that having uh, oxygen at home uh, would prove beneficial when next uh, I have a, a very bad oh, extreme breakfast episode. But I think I will, I'm probably better off just buying myself a uh, my own unit because I'm not going to, I'm not going to be able to get any uh, a discount being a pensioner because the uh, I won't get a recommendation from the specialist. Uh, it's not one thing; it's another, isn't it? But uh, but that's uh, that's what it's like. And as you grow older, you know, it's uh, it's almonds, medications, and funerals. Uh, I know that doesn't sound very positive, and I am a positive person, but I'm also a very realistic individual. And the longer you live, the more ailments you have, and the more ailments you have, it tend to be more medication you, you need to take. And you see more of your friends uh, and family pass away, older family members, of course, hopefully. But um, yeah, it's true. Ailments, medications, and funerals. Anyhow, I want to I want to thank you for watching, and uh, until next time, uh, bye for now.